Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see how to transform any hands drawn design into a HTML code through Microsoft AI enabled Sketch2 code. Sketch2 code can be accessed through the following URL the sketch, uh, sketch2 code uh, dot azure websites.net. Um, this applies AI algorithm to convert the hand drawn uh, design into HTML. So this is the um, UI. Uh, so here you can see some sample templates are there. So then even you can upload your own design, hands uh, uh, drawn design. Even you can take a picture. Um, so then you can uh, convert that into um, into the uh, HTML. So here uh, you can see different templates. So let me. Yeah. So you can have a simple form with the different elements. Um, yeah, it's again it's a uh, two column form. Then you have some um, like a, uh, add to cart and all those things, the product uh, catalog related functionalities. Yeah, those. Yeah, these are all the uh, different templates. So even you can uh, like you can use this template for say for um, sample. Let's say let use this template. Use this template. Okay, yeah, it's converted into um, HTML if you see here. Um, so name, uh, last name, um, phone, email, password, uh, and uh, um, continue password and confirm password. So maybe <laughs> there is some yeah algorithm right it is a continue. So then like it's a checkbox. Um, uh, I agree to again you hear something D A something is uh, there. Little bit variations are there, but uh, it's converted that into um, uh, the HTML. So you can just to see these predicted uh, object details. Yeah, it will it will show you like uh, uh, what is the uh, prediction. So seventy five pass uh, label it is uh, predicted as seventy five point five five percentage. Then text box, uh, text box here button ninety one point four five percentage. Um, so this is the uh, prediction. So you can see the individual details here. Like what is it predicted? Yeah. Now uh, one more thing. Like uh, um, let me show you the workflow. How it will work. So here, if you see here, like uh, uh, first detect design patterns. So it will try to um, through this uh, custom uh, vision model trying to uh, um, um, AI trained to perform the object recognition against HTML hand drawn pattern. It will try to identify the pattern from this uh, uh, drawing. Um, then like it will um, it will. Um, uh, convert this um, into an image um, then next step like uh, then it try to again understand the uh, handwritten text um, so uh, it will if it is a text or it is a element and uh, so this element this module will identify that uh, then like uh, it will try to understand the uh, structure because we, we sometimes we, we may have this two column um, like uh, three column or whatever like a different structure so the next step is like uh, understanding and identifying the uh, uh, structure and posi position of the uh, like uh, element now then build the html finally it will uh, build the html so the converted html is uh, going to be responsive across devices uh, so means the layout will be adjusted based on the device width so they use this uh, bootstrap um, uh, control um, to uh, enable the responsiveness so also like one more thing is the uh, this a the, the AI algorithm uh, uses the uploaded designs whatever design you are going uh, going and uploading um, new design so it will uh, use it use that for the continuous learning so to improve the uh, conversation uh, sorry uh, conversion so maybe like uh, uh, the percentage will increase like uh, in the future like based on the continuous learning so now let's see like uh, how uh, how we can convert some of our uh, custom design so I have some custom designs. So let me upload that. So if I go to that, yeah, I have design one. Okay, yeah, this is the thing. Maybe my writing will not be good. So yeah, I have a simple form. So if you see here, the first name, yes, fine. Last name is fine. Uh, email is identified, but the phone, the label is not identified. So, but the text box is identified. Message is fine. So somehow I, I want to give a text box here, but I tried, but I'm not, it's always identifying as a text box, not a text area, sorry, text area. So then the button is identified, but it is a uh, right corner. So here only uh, thing is this phone, maybe this, uh, there is a space or something due to that it is not identifying it as a uh, valid label. So if you go to the uh, predicted object detail, 
yeah if you see here like a uh, text box that label uh, itself is not somehow uh, not not identified other than that yeah 91.81 button text box it's all like uh, there is one label is somehow missing this is the out, uh, output html so now let me go to another um, new design i have another design okay go to upload design again this is little different again yeah so this is again a contact form in a single row uh, so my intention is this would be a drop down list uh, then this will be a checkbox but somehow if you see that contact us is label is fine first name last name email um, phone uh, then message is fine but the city I intended for a drop down so because the sample I have seen like that but somehow it is not identified then somehow this is also the subscribe uh, checkbox also uh, ignored if I go to the predicted um, object so yeah this is somehow yeah this is identified as text box then somehow this not identified that that area itself is ignored okay um, this fine now let me go to another again another different design now okay the design 3 yeah it's a two column um, uh, again uh, contact form so here little different the first name is uh, um, like label is identified but the next text box somehow missing uh, then the label is missing uh, the text box identified here uh, then here the email missing phone then message is there this is identified as a checkbox I'm not sure why it is identified as a checkbox so then the text box is there send button is there let me go to the predicted um, object yeah here some of this is identified as a checkbox so this label is not identified and uh, some of the objects are not identified uh, now what, what 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 you can do is you can download this uh, HTML let me download this HTML yeah, this is the let me show you that HTML how it look like As I already told, uh, this is using this uh, bootstrap and based on that it is structuring the uh, uh, elements. So let me open this. Yeah, but this is a responsive. Yeah, so if you see here, yeah, it's defined in a two column. So it will it will be a responsive for the based on the device bit, uh, it is going to be uh, responsive okay um so yeah we have seen some uh, variations uh, some of the cases the objects are not identified any of this is a continuous learning algorithm um, uh, hoping in the future like based on the continuous learning cont uh, based on the continuous uploading of the design uh, uh, different uh, with the different handwritten patterns so hoping this will uh, match 100 percentage uh, thanks for watching the video see you in the next video